Welcome to North Iceland and Kvevir, the geothermal area here along the North Volcanic Zone, just a little bit north of Nivat, the lake, and other, so, other volcanic features in the area. Thanks for joining me. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey out here in North Iceland, and let's go check out some geothermal features here. You can see this hillside is just completely stark, denuded of some of the moss and other vegetation that typifies the Icelandic landscape. That's because this intense geothermal area, um, it doesn't come across in the video, but the smell of hydrogen sulfide is very strong. So these vents are heating up, well, the magma bodies below are heating up the groundwater and some of the volcanic gases are coming up with that groundwater as it gets hotter and rises to the surface and so the the smell of hydrogen sulfide is is really strong and so you end up with these uh, highly sulfuric and acidic gases that come out of the ground and just sort of um, make the the landscape completely uninhabitable for plants and any sort of life to take root. It's just a completely toxic situation for the plants that might grow here otherwise. But let's take a look at a couple of the, the interesting features here. So there's an array of mud pots and fumaroles here. Um, this is a little bit more of a hot spring here and we can actually measure the temperature at these about 83 more degrees Celsius. I'll put the conversion to Fahrenheit up on the screen for those of you that use that scale. But you can see the intense heat coming out of some of these bowls and pots. Let's go check out a couple other features here as well. Um, in places you, we might get some mud pots where the mud or excuse me, where the there's more mud content in the water, so it's more viscous and thick and goopy. And one of the reasons we have so much mud and clay here is that these acidic groundwater that comes up in these volcanic regions uh, dissolves much of the silica and other material in the rock. And so it ends up being just degraded into clays and you get a lot of clay rich materials. Let's see what the feature we have here. So some mud pots here. Yeah, maybe up to about 60 degrees Celsius on that one. You can see how gray the mud is as it comes out. So we'll just wander around a little bit here and maybe break this up into segments. Look at a couple different features. Another little mud pot there. Fumaroles are where we have uh, just steam coming out of the ground. So hot water that's vaporized into gas that comes out of cracks in the ground. Those would be what we call fumaroles. You can see one up on the hill there with the kind of colorful banding on this hillside. But let's look around, um, see what we can see, and check out some of these neat geothermal features. The real churning, loud mud pot here. Up near about 80 degrees Celsius on that one. And there's some outcrops here of some bedded deposits. Let's see, there's some here by the trail. I'm assuming these are just bedded tufts from explosive eruptions and not layered geothermal deposits. Yeah, I think those are actually 
layers of tuff but sometimes around these geothermal features you get uh, precipitated material these are tilted as well and you'd expect the geothermal deposits to just be layered um, parallel to the landscape so these are probably older and considerably altered by the geothermal activity and the hot water moving through with the various um, acidic waters and such just crazy landscape i mean it's completely stark just like nothing no no not much rock um, everything for the most part has been chemically weathered down to clay and it's just this vast open in a stark area another nice little mud pot there yeah a lot of these are similar temperatures of this one's maybe a little bit cooler as close as I can get maybe about yeah about 70 degrees Celsius uh, let's go check out those spots over there nice view here of the really yellow sulfur deposits that form around these vents there's a classic fumarole there you can see just the dry steam coming out of it and a few more of these again with these vivid yellow deposits around the craters section of fumaroles right in here and the sulfur deposits here were actually mined at one point to be used uh, in making gunpowder so there's a little bit of a historical component as well and just some of these spectacular yellow native sulfur just around these fumarole deposits little cone down here we can check out a little path that leads right to it I'm assuming it's just a fumarole with the gas coming out Again, you can see some of the sulfur deposits on this as well. Looks like there's been rocks piled up to kind of protect the vent a little bit. Pretty hot to the touch. I wonder if we can get a temperature on that at all. Oh yeah, this is hot. This is. 130 plus degrees Celsius. So that water is coming out, flashing to steam, and it's above the boiling temperature. We're on this side. making quite a bit of steam here like a sauna here we go we just steamed everything up and then we're back out so we'll check out one more uh, and we'll end up wrap up this little video segment hope you've enjoyed this video on this really interesting geothermal area here in northern Iceland like there's a cinder cone across across the way over here in the distance and not too crowded I mean in terms of like seeing this in Yellowstone um, not nearly the same type of 
zoo and chaos you'd have to deal with with all the tourists and such. Another nice little fumarole here. And then another little steamy one over here we can check out to wrap up. But just a beautiful landscape. I mean, just Iceland continues to amaze me. Just every, even if you're looking in the same direction at the same thing, the weather conditions change and the lighting changes and it's just so dynamic. Or if you're driving, you go around a curve and things are different and change and it's just constantly evolving. Everything seems to be a perfect postcard shot. But I guess not always. Sometimes it's socked in and rainy and not ideal, but you just wait a few minutes and then it changes. So another vigorous fumarole there. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Thanks again for joining me on this fun little adventure in North Iceland to these geothermal features. Appreciate your um, support of the page. Be sure to like, subscribe, and there's a thanks button below the viewer on the right. And you can also go down to the video description and there's links there for uh, ways to support my geology education videos. So with that, just signing off from geothermal area in North Iceland.